Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Anna and today is the first video of my declutter series. So we are going to start with all my base products. You can see all of them in this little box here. I feel like it was kind of overdue to do another declutter video or another declutter series. So I'm very, very excited to be starting it now. If you like declutter videos and project pens, eyeshadow content in general, then please don't forget to hit the subscribe button. And now I would say let's jump right into it. So these are all the products we're going through today and I think I'm going to organize them a bit into groups and into categories. Okay, so this is the first group of products. These are all of my primers here and these four here are my eyeshadow primers. Maybe we just start with them. So I have only the tiniest bit left in this one here from Smashbox and I'm going to keep it and I'm going to use it up. This one here is from Essence. It was in my beauty advent calendar and I don't like this one. It actually really does nothing really good for me because it makes my eyeshadow crease more than it would without a primer. So I'm going to declutter this one. Then I do have these two putty eye primers here from e.l.f. One is in the white color and one is more in like a nude color. It's called, I think, rose and this one here is called white. And for now, I'm going to keep them, but I have tried them a bit. I only have gotten them recently, so I haven't tried them too, too much, but a bit. And I feel like it's kind of a weird formula. So I feel like it really helps my eyeshadow stay in place, but it's a very dry formula and it's kind of hard to, I don't know, to use them and to apply them to my eyes because it's such a dry, weird formula. And I don't know, I'm not really sure if I want to keep them for longer, but for now I just want to try them out a bit more because I haven't had the chance to really, really see if I like them or not. So I'm going to keep both of them. Now let's go through my primer. So let's actually organize them a bit more. So these two here are glowy primers. This one here is the Hollywood Flawless Filter in the shade One Fair from Charlotte Tilbury. And I absolutely love this product. So I'm going to keep this one for sure. It's such a wonderful formula. I'm just going to show it to you quick. It's such a nice, lightweight, glowy formula. I really, really love it. I do apply it to my cheekbones and to my nose and my cupid's bow and things like that. And I really do enjoy it. And sometimes I also use it as a highlighter on its own if I want a bit more of a subtle glow. And it's just wonderful. I love it. I'm so glad that I, I finally got it and picked it up. I think I bought it in the beginning of June. And yeah, it's, it's a pleasure to use. And... I'm definitely going to keep it. Then this one here from Catrice, I thought that I would like it. It's a bit of a glowy primer and I never ever reach for it. So I'm actually, so I think I'm going to give this one away to someone else who would use it more because I just never use it. It's from their Clean ID line and it's the Insta Bright Serum Primer and it's a nice formula. It's also very lightweight, which I do love and it's a bit glowy and it's illuminating and stuff and I don't know, I just never reach for it. So I'm going to declutter this one. Then I have these two here. Both of them are kind of just regular moisturizing primers, but this one is an aqua primer. So it has a very thin aqua-like texture. And this one is kind of like a cream, a normal, I don't know, a normal white-based kind of moisturizer. It's from Essence. It's from the Skin Love and Sensitive line. And 
this is such a nice very nourishing primer but it also it's also a bit mattifying so i feel like for me with oily skin this is a very very good fit so this is actually a very nice primer and one of my favorites to use at the moment and this one here i do like more in the summertime when i just want something very very lightweight it's from rival and it's this brand that is only available in germany in drugstores and i don't really love this one it's called the boho vibes aqua primer and both of them are working very very well for me so i'm going to keep both of them then i do have the mint melt cooling face primer from elf and I have tried it and it's actually exactly the same as the Milk Hydro Grip Primer for me. This is a pretty exact dupe and I didn't like the one from Milk either and neither do I like this one here. So it's just, I just don't like this gel texture on my skin. It doesn't work good on my skin texture and on my skin type in general. So I just don't like these gel formula. So there's nothing wrong with this primer, like with the one from Milk. There's not really something wrong, but I just don't like it, so I'm going to declutter this one. And then I do have three primers that are kind of color correcting. So this one here is from Makeup Revolution. It's the Correct and Fix Primer. Then I do have this one here. It's the Anti-Redness Serum Primer from Catrice. And then I do have the ELF Blemish Fighting Putty Primer, and it's in the green tint. So I do like all three of them and I do have a lot of redness on my face. I do suffer from a bit of rosacea, I would say. And I also have oily to combination skin, so there is a lot going on. And all three primers work pretty good on me. I don't feel like this one does a lot, but it's a nice texture. It's very lightweight and I like it. This one does actually do a bit of color correcting. It's, I would say, the most color correcting out of the three of them. And then this one here is also a very nice one. It does a tiny, tiny bit of color correcting, not too much, but the formula in general is really nice. So I'm going to keep all three of them. So these are the ones I'm keeping. So I'm keeping six face primers and three eye primers. And I'm going to get rid of two face primers and one eye primer. Then I don't have a lot of setting sprays, so let's just go through them very quickly. So in this one here from Terra Naturi, it's one of my favorite drugstore brands here from Austria and it's the makeup fixing spray. It's an organic beauty brand and I do really enjoy it. I don't have a lot of it left. It's only a tiny, tiny bit and I'm going to use it up and then I'm going to repurchase this one for sure. Then this is another one I truly, truly love. It was a limited edition one from Catrice. It's called Bronze Away to Fiji Hydrating Fixing Spray. It has a strong scent, but I love the scent. So I have this one and I actually do also have a backup of this one. So there are two bottles of this one here and yeah, I just love them. I'm going to keep them and use them up. These two here, on the other hand, I'm going to declutter both of them. This one is the Urban Decay All Nighters Fixing Spray and I just never use it and I have it for such a long time that I feel like it's not safe anymore to use it on my face because I have it for, I don't know, maybe four years or more and I do in general never reach for it so I'm going to declutter this one. And this one is from Catrice, it's pretty new in my collection, it's the Fix and Protect Spray with SPF 20 and I thought it would be a nice kind of protecting fixing spray but it feels like you spray on some kind of a lacquer to your face. No, it feels like if you spray hairspray onto your face. So it kind of, I don't know, it puts kind of like a sheet of plastic onto your face. That's how it feels like. So I cannot, I cannot wear this one. It's just, the feeling is horrible. So yeah, I'm going to declutter this one and this one as well. So I'm decluttering two and I'm keeping two and then also the backup one. So I have three setting sprays and two I'm going to declutter. Now let's talk about powders. So as you can see, I don't have a ton of them. I only have five and then I do also own a loose setting powder from a brand I no longer support and I don't want to show on my channel, but I'm still in the process of using that one up. So I hope that I'm pretty close at finishing that project very soon. And then I'm finally out of my regular setting powder. I do have this one loose powder here. 
It's from Catrice, it's called the Glow Illusion Loose Powder in Translucent and I'm not the biggest fan of this one, but I think I can make it work. So it's a bit more heavy looking on me, which I don't prefer. The one I'm using currently is very, very lightweight. So I think I'm going to purchase another loose setting powder when I have finished the one I tucked before. But this one here I'm also going to keep because it's okay sometimes. So I just don't want to use it every day, but it's okay enough to keep it. So yes, I'm going to keep this one here and I'm going to use it up. This one here is from Wet n Wild, it's the color icon bronzer in the shade Reserve Your Cabana and I'm using it as a glowy setting powder and I love it. I love it so much, it's such a gorgeous formula. I've also had the Hourglass, you know, the kind of setting powders and they are not as good in formula than this one is. So I feel like this one is very close, but even better than the ones from Hourglass. So if you're looking for a kind of translucent powder that is giving you a lot of glow, then this one is just perfect. So I'm going to keep it. This one here is a powder foundation from Kiko Milano. It was from their Unexpected Paradise collection. It's in the shade 01 Ivory. And I thought that this would work good on my skin tone, but it's too yellow and too dark. So I'm going to declutter this one. Then these two here are my only true regular pressed powders. And this one here is from Essence. It's from the Skins Love and Sensitive line. This one is a dupe for the Charlotte Tilbury setting powder. So if you know the Charlotte Tilbury powder, this one is an exact dupe for it. I feel like the formula is so similar. It's very pore blurring, it's very smoothing and it looks beautiful on the skin. really do like this one. It is a bit more on the heavier side, but it actually does some blurring. So it's, yeah, it's okay for that. So I'm going to keep this one. I really do like it. And the ingredients look really good for like a drugstore brand like this. And then this one here is from Terra Naturi, my organic makeup line that I like so much. It's in the shade 01 Ivory again. It's a perfectly lightweight smoothing powder i do love this one and the ingredients are totally clean so it's such a good formula for such a good price tag and yeah i really do love this this kind of brand and this formula especially and i would love it if you could buy it somewhere else outside of austria too but i just don't know that i just buy it in my local drugstore and it's it's just amazing so i'm going to keep it as well So in this group, as you can see, I'm keeping four, these four here, and I'm going to declutter this one here. And it's just not a category where I try out a lot of new things, but I feel like if Essence or Catrice would come out with some more different powders, I would maybe try them. But other brands don't really interest me at the moment because I just like, I feel like I'm set with powders. So I only want to buy one more loose setting powder, but I think that Terra Naturi has one in the line and I want to try that one next. Now here we do have all of my concealers and also my kind of color correctors and cream concealers and all that jazz. So let's just start maybe with the color correctors. So I do have this green one here from Sephora, from the Sephora collection. I really do like this one. It has a very, very lightweight and thin formula, almost like a water-like formula, but it does do a great job in color correcting. So I really do enjoy this one and I'm going to keep this one. Then this one here is my Becker Under Eye Primer and this is currently in a project in my Partners in Cream project pan and I do love this one and I'm going to keep this one until I have finished it completely and I'm just in the process of working on it and it's a lovely color corrector, I really do like it and it's very brightening and also a bit of illuminating which I think is amazing so I really love it and I'm going to keep it. Then I do have this one here, it's the Soft Cream Concealer from Hypoallergenic and I have it in, have in which shade? I don't know. There's no shade name on it. Okay, so I cannot see the shade name of it, but the thing with this one here, I don't know. 
I feel like the, the formula is so creamy and dewy and kind of moisturizing that it's almost too dewy because it creases so bad on me. So I never want to use it because I always know it creases so badly. So I think I'm going to find another home for this one because it's actually a very nice formula if you don't mind that. So I feel like for someone with maybe a bit more drying under eyes, maybe someone like that would like it more. So I'm going to give this one here away. Then this is the One Drop Coverage Weightless Concealer in the shade 002 from Catrice. And this is getting so old that, I don't know, I think I don't want to keep it anymore because it's separating in the bottle and yeah, I just don't know. I don't feel like safe when I use it anymore. So this is becoming a bit old, so I'm going to declutter this one. I do have these two here from Makeup Revolution. This is their regular concealer and define concealer. This is the concealer and hydrate concealer. This one here is in the shade C3. This is in the shade C2. I love both of them. For me, they are pretty much the same. I don't see a huge difference in the formula, but I do like both of them, so I'm keeping both of them. Then I do have these two here from Essence, from the Skin Love and Sensitive line. I do have one of them in the shade 05 Fair and one in 010 Light, I think, yes. And I use the shade light as a foundation and the shade fair as my concealer. I love the formula on my skin. It's such a beautiful, lovely, natural looking finish. I love it as a concealer. I love it as a foundation. It's perfection for me. It's what I use almost every day. And yeah, I hope they never get rid of these. And yeah, it's a lovely formula. Love them so much. Color fits perfectly. I'm going to keep both of them. Then I do also have this one here from Essence, it's the Camouflage Concealer and this one here is in the shade 10 Light Rose and it's a bit more of a full coverage concealer and I think that it's good to have one of these in my collection so I'm going to keep it, it's a nice formula. Then I do have like this stick concealer from Terra Naturi and because it's an organic beauty line, I think I have it for too long now and it's time to declutter it just because of age because I feel like it has a weird smell now so I think that it has gone off and I'm going to declutter it now. Then I do have these two concealers here. This one is the Liquid Camouflage Concealer, this is the True Skin Concealer. Both of them are from Catrice. This one here is in the shade 01 Fair Ivory and this one here is in the shade... 002 neutral ivory and this is a better color match for me because it has a rosy undertone this is a bit more of a yellow undertone but i can make it work and this one here is in my project pen i'm actually in the process of using this one here up and it's a very nice lightweight concealer i do like this one so i'm keeping it and this one here is one of the greatest discoveries i made in the last year it's such an amazing formula. It's one of the best concealers I've ever tried. So that's why I'm keeping it around, even if the color isn't perfectly matching me, but it's working good enough to keep it around because it's such a lovely formula. So I would highly recommend checking this one here out. And of course I'm going to keep it. So in this category, I'm going to declutter three items and I'm going to keep nine. Now, these are all my kind of regular foundations because, you know, I use concealers a lot for kind of in place of foundations, but these are just like my regular foundations. And as you can see, I don't have like a huge kind of collection when it comes to base products because I just don't like to try out too many new things and I don't know it's just not a category where I enjoy spending money on and I just try out new things if I kind of I don't know if something kind of sparks my interest but that doesn't happen very often and because so little foundations have ever worked for me it's just a category where I feel like not like experimenting so if I have found something that works I just stick with that and because I have this concealer from Essence now that works so beautifully on me I don't feel like I need to kind of try out more foundations 
Let's start with this one here from Clinique. It's the Even Better Foundation in the shade Ivory. And this is starting to getting really, really old. And it's also kind of starting to separating in the bottle. And yeah, it doesn't feel safe to use it anymore. So I'm going to declutter it because of age. And it's a shame that I let you, I don't know, that I didn't use it enough and that I didn't use it up. But it's just that, I don't know, I stopped wearing this foundation because it, it didn't, I don't know, it wasn't my best color match and I just, you know, I had a backup, so this was the backup bottle and I should have decluttered it way earlier on so that someone else could have used it, but yeah, I just missed that and now I'm going to declutter it because it's just not good to use anymore, so this is going. Then I do have two from Makeup Revolution. This is their stick foundation in the shade F1. It's their lightest one. And this is the Conceal and Define foundation in the shade F3. I do love both of them. They are really, really good, affordable options. I like them both and I'm keeping both of them. This is quite new. This I have for a very long time. So it's exciting to see when I have used this one here up because I don't know, maybe it could happen this year. We will see. This one I just started using. So both of them are going to stay. I really do like both of them. This one here is again from Terra Naturi and it's their Silk Matte Foundation. I have it in the shade 01 Natural Beige and this one is so weird. I loved it when I first gotten it and I used it the other day and I think it has gone bad because it's like I said before, it's an organic beauty brand so the ingredients are all clean so that often means that they don't last as long as some other products. So this one here um, has gone bad because I applied it and it was so patchy it almost felt like some kind of a glue. I couldn't blend it out and it left my face with just dots of foundation and it has never done it before so I'm sure that it has gone. I'm going to declutter this one. Then this one here is the Dermacol makeup cover. I don't really use this that often but it's a super full coverage like of a from a film studio and makeup line and it's super super full coverage so you only need the tiniest dot and you can cover up anything and because it's so small and in this tiny tube I feel like I want to keep it as long as it's good and it still does smell right and it feels right so I'm just going to keep it I don't use it that often but if I ever want to cover something up I feel like this is always good to have on hand and it was very inexpensive I bought it on Amazon and yes it's a great find and especially because I'm also, you know, I have worked as a professional makeup artist, as a freelancer and I don't do it anymore, but I feel like it's always good to, it's always good to have something like this on hand and I'm going to keep it. Then this one here is from Catrice, it's from the True Skin line, it's the hydrating foundation in the shade 010 Cool Cashmere and this is an amazing formula. Like the concealer, they are both so, so good. So I do have oily to combination skin, so hydrating foundations aren't always the most long lasting on me. And this one as well, it does fade and it gets a bit glowy throughout the day, but it looks amazing on my skin. And for that reason alone, I would keep it and I also keep using it. I just keep in mind that when I need something very long lasting, this is not the one to go. But if it only, I don't know, if it's okay for me, if it just looks perfect for a few hours and then I just have to, you know, touch it up or powder it or anything, which I don't mind that much as long as it sits nicely on my skin. And this one here looks beautiful on my skin. So I'm going to keep this one here as well. So in this category, I'm going to declutter two because of age and then four I'm going to keep. These here are all the things I'm going to declutter and I'm so happy to be finally getting rid of these things here that don't work for me anymore and to be clutter free in my complexion department. So now I'm going to show you the things I'm going to keep. And in this box here, you can see all of the complexion products I'm keeping. And as you can see, it's a very curated collection now. I'm so happy that I don't have any more 
clutter in this like part of my collection. I'm so happy with the outcome of this video and of this declutter. I hope that you did enjoy today's video. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button because there are coming lots more decluttering videos your way. So keep an eye out for them. Thank you all so, so much for watching. I wish you all a beautiful day.